Hilling the potatoes. I'm gonna talk about and show you kind of what's going on here with our potato uh, root vegetable raised garden bed. We have uh, ended up getting Yukon Gold, I believe is the majority of the potatoes in this, this garden bed, Yukon Gold, but we do have uh, some of the little round potatoes. I can't remember what those are, what those are even called. I need to look back at it, but the little round potatoes, bacon potatoes. And also um, I finally found, which is really weird. I got to do some more research on this, but uh, sweet potatoes. They were really hard to find. There is no seed and everything that I could find. Uh, they're a little different, but I finally found some that were already growing. And um, what was really neat about the potatoes, I, didn't understand this or know this either, but the eyes that we call them uh, that come out of the little white stalks when they we think of potatoes getting old, and those eyes you definitely don't want to eat. But uh, or once it starts growing eyes, it's not really good to to eat it. Um, far past that, but they can be poisonous. But uh, once they start growing eyes, uh, you can slice them as long as each little slice of potato has one eye, stick it up into the ground and bury it and cover it completely up, but with the eye sticking up off of the sliced piece of potato. And you get something like this, it starts sprouting up. So <clears throat> we have, all these are Yukon Gold and little round butter potatoes, I think, whatever they're called. Um, and you see some of them are taken better than others. I had some more planted in here, but they didn't make it. Um, but uh, also it is best to get what they call seed potato, which is almost in a bag. They're already started with the eyes from what I've read too. I've got to do more research on this, but if you just do your own, uh, there's a certain timing in the process uh, of of the eyes, I believe, from what my understanding is. If you do it your own, sometimes you can do it and it can be damaging and the potatoes can be diseased if you try to grow your own seed potatoes. But obviously you can do it and I have to learn how to figure that out. But I bought these seed potatoes called seed potatoes and cut them up, sliced them up, planted them, and this is what we have. And then this row here is what I was just saying about the sweet potatoes. Um, I bought those already grown looking like that. So uh, we have those. And then over here is onions and garlic. And I'm not sure which one's which. Um, maybe the smaller ones, I don't know if they look exactly the same. <laughs> or maybe either all my onions took and none of my garlic or all my garlic and none of my onions. But I guess I'll figure that out once I, <laughs> once I dig them up. Because I can't remember how I plated them in order of secession here. But uh, what I'm doing now, and, and I wanted to show you, is called uh, hilling, H-I-L-L-I-N-G, hilling the potatoes. So once the potatoes' leaves get three to five inches kind of off of the main ones, off of the ground uh, and out of the ground, um, it's best to start hilling the potatoes. And basically that is piling dirt around the bottom of them. And you can continue to hill and that's why this bed is a lot lower because I was planning on doing my potatoes in this bed as far as the dirt line, the fill line, uh, compared to the other raised beds. And you can see I got some stuff going on over there too. I'm really pumped about everything starting to grow. Um, but we started this one lower so that we could add dirt. And you can pile these things and pile these things and pile these things and get them higher and higher and higher. But obviously I'm not gonna be able to do that because I'm in a raised bed here. But um, we... <coughs> Uh, I'm going to continue to do this for these. Obviously, these are not quite ready, so I'm going to just slope it down um, until they are. And you see some in here. I'm going to have to come back as those grow a little taller. But uh, they will con keep con producing potatoes underneath as we continue to add dirt. So um, I'm not sure how long and how far I'm going to have to research how long I should do this. But I've talked to some, some older fellers, and they said they used to get one little... Um, trick was like old tires and they'd start it with one tire fill it up with dirt um, and then once the leaves got big enough they'd put another tire start filling dirt and they'd get tires up to your waist higher more um, 
<laughs> and then once you're ready, you just start taking those tires off, pulling those, and there's potatoes all the way down through there. So I'm excited about the potatoes. I, we love potatoes around here, and sweet potatoes are so good for you. I'm really praying and hoping that these uh, sweet potatoes produce, and um, I'm excited about this. And I'll just quickly do a quick scan over here at the other gardens. This is my pepper bed. These are mine that I started from uh, seeds. They're jalapenos. They are making it. <laughs> These eight here are my seed jalapeno peppers. Um, but obviously they are way behind. So I went and got uh, <clears throat> four, yeah, four more jalapenos. And then I moved on and I've got an Anaheim hot pepper. These are my hot peppers, this side of it. And then this is like a cayenne type pepper. So all these are hot. I've given, given a little space. It might bleed over and it, it can do that with your hot peppers and your sweet peppers. These might have a little bit of a sting to them, but these are this is a sweet banana pepper. And then these are green, yellow, and red bell peppers. So these are my sweet peppers down here on this end. On this garden bed, I've got my tomatoes. I've still got several. I'm gonna plant back in that other garden in the back, but these I've got six tomatoes. Um, I've got one separated over here because it's a little different. It's called a Car Cherokee purple. It's a purple tomato. Um, different, but this is a random hodgepodge. Truett came home from school, and he had an egg crate with seeds in it. And believe it or not, that egg crate with seeds produced all of that, and they have survived the transplant and everything. Probably better than half of my plants that I actually better than 90% of my plants that I did in all those different things. I burnt mine up and killed them. And I was just like, oh, whatever, Truitts will die. And sure enough, every, just about every one of his made. We've got a sunflower. One of these is a sunflower squash. Who knows? I don't even know what it is. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and then this one is, all these things are cantaloupe and squash. Zucchini squash, cantaloupe. I think for the most part, yellow, crook neck squash, straight neck squash. Most of this is squash, except for that uh, tomato down there and then there's my marigolds hanging that's supposed to help keep pests away but there's my little garden uh raised garden beds and like i said the potatoes is the main point of this video and i wanted to show you the way i'm healing them and we'll see how that works at the at the end of the season here how many potatoes and did i go too high did i go too low um we'll see and then i'll find out about the garlic and the um, onions at some point too <laughs> but country realtor signing off